Taiwan is a democratic country where people enjoy freedom of religion. A couple hundred years ago, when Western religions were first introduced to Taiwan, those pioneering missionaries also brought Western values and science with them to Taiwan. One such missionary, Dr. George Leslie McKay, made great contributions in establishing churches, schools, and a hospital practicing Western medicine in northern Taiwan. Dr. McKay was the first missionary to be commissioned by the Canada Presbyterian Church, arriving in Taiwan on New Year's Eve, 1871. Upon his arrival, he was greatly attracted to the beautiful island and its people. He decided to settle in Tangshui, a port city in the north, to begin his missionary work. Finally, I'm in Taiwan, having been led all the way from my hometown in Canada by God. What a beautiful island. No wonder people call her Formosa. God, please hear my prayer and help me lay the foundation of Christ's church here with your courage and strength. Here comes someone. Excuse me, sir. Good grief. I've never seen such a weird looking man before. Get away from me. Leave me alone. Excuse me, ma'am. Please tell me. Ah! No, don't come any closer. <sighs> what should I do? People are afraid and running away from me. How could I possibly learn more Taiwanese? How will I be able to preach? Wait a second. Here comes a herd boy. Hello there. Are you talking to me? Yes, yes. How interesting! You are so different from us. Look at your pointy nose. And you can speak our language? Yes, I've learned a little, but my Taiwanese is still poor. Would you be willing to chat with me and teach me how to speak Taiwanese? Sure, sure. I come here every day to feed my herd. If you want to have somebody to talk to, just come here and find me. This is great. Thank you. Thank you kindly. In this way, Dr. McKay started learning Taiwanese. He was very astute and worked very hard. Within five months, he was able to preach in Taiwanese. I have preached for a while, and I'm glad to have such an attentive audience, especially one young man in particular named Aho. We have talked about beliefs and religions, I thank God for delivering this intelligent and active young man to me. Come in, please. Aho, it's so nice to see you. Reverend McKay, I listened to you preach several times and had lots of discussions with you. I love the words and the hymns, and I am convinced that your teachings are true. I have thought a great deal, and I am determined to become a Christian. I wish to study Christianity with you. This is wonderful. Thank God for answering my prayers and letting me find a gifted young man here to convert to Christianity. I have so much to learn from you. Well, we can study together, and from now on we can work together to spread God's words. In fact, I plan to visit the native tribes in the mountains. Why don't you come with me? I also practice medicine, and you can help me so we can treat people along the way. Let's go get ready for the trip. Aho became Dr. McKay's first student and later the chief among the early native preachers. With Aho's assistance, Dr. McKay quickly expanded his missionary work. Over the course of their travels, they also helped many people with medical problems. This Tuseki is kidding me! Look, Aho, the man over there seems to be suffering. Indeed. Let me ask him what's bothering him. Sir, is everything okay? No, I've had a toothache for days. I can't eat or sleep. It's kidding me! Ugh. Sir, if you don't mind, open your mouth so I can take a look. 
Well, I'm afraid your tooth is seriously decayed. It's going to be hard to ease your toothache without removing it. You are going to pull out my tooth? I don't think so. Don't worry, it will help to take away the pain. Aho, bring me the suitcase. Yes, sir. Dr. McKay opened the suitcase and took out a tool. What's that? It looks scary. Not to worry. I have removed teeth for lots of people. Just bear with me. After I get rid of it, you will feel so much better. Yeah. Yes. Okay, it's done. How do you feel? Whoa, how strange. I do feel much better. The awful pain is gone. Thank you, doctor. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Remember to brush your teeth after you eat. Otherwise, you'll get a toothache again. Sure, I will remember. Thank you, doctor. It's great to see people becoming healthy and happy again. Yes, certainly. Okay, let's get going again before it gets too dark. I hope we can arrive at the Mountain Tribe tomorrow. The sun rose. Dr. McKay and Ho arrived at the tribe's land. Dr. McKay, it is so pretty here. Yes, isn't it? Look, what a pretty bird that is. I wonder what kind it is. Stop! Stop right there! Who's there? I'm Dr. McKay, and this is Aho. We are here to introduce Christianity and tell you all the wonderful things about God. We are blessed by our ancestors and the spirits in nature. We don't need to know who your God is. Please give us a chance. We have some stories to share with you. We have brought food and we will sing hymns to you. Well, all right. You two seem to be friendly. I will let you talk to my people. Follow me. Dr. McKay and Aho spent the night with the tribe. They told the village about God and His Son, prayed, and sung hymns. Thank you so much for having us last night. Thank you for sharing with us about your religion. Take care. Hopefully they will start believing in God. I believe the gospel has brought light to their heart and gives them the strength they need in life. Reverend McKay is truly a wonderful man. He really cares about us and shows us important virtues. Not just that, he is a good doctor. He cured my husband's malarial fever and comes often to check on him. I am so glad that we have him here. How, How are, are you, Dr. Dr. McKay? I'm fine, thank you. Is there anything troubling you? No, doctor. We are here to visit you. It's almost New Year, so we have brought you some gifts. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Doctor, you have done so much for us. Thank you so much for treating my wife. And to show our appreciation, we'd like to take you to dinner. Yes, Dr. McKay. Please let us thank you for taking care of us. I'm pleased that my service is helpful, and thank you for the kind invitation. I'm glad I call you. Oh, hi. What's the matter? Is it true that our Dr. McKay is getting married to a Taiwanese lady today? Yes, indeed. What a happy day, isn't it? Yes, but it is rather strange too. He is a white man, and I thought he would have married a white woman. 
Well, Dr. McKay has been here with us for a long time, and his bride, Cho Myung, is a student from his church. Dr. McKay once told me that Taiwan is his homeland, and so he will stay here to continue his missionary work. I believe that he loves the people here and already considers himself Taiwanese. I see. Dr. McKay is a good man, and we're happy to know that he will stay forever. Look, here comes the bride. Yes, let's join the celebration and congratulate them. Although practicing medicine and preaching in Taiwanese were very difficult work at the time, Dr. McKay persevered for over 30 years. During that time, he not only pulled over 21,000 teeth, but also proclaimed the gospel to many different people. Altogether, he established more than 60 churches and baptized thousands of believers in northern Taiwan. Dr. McKay passed away in 1901 and was buried in Tangshui, Taiwan. By that time, Christianity had been well established across the island. And not only did he contribute to the spread of Christianity, but also to medical advancement in Taiwan. The McKay Memorial Hospital was built in 1912. Up to the present day, it is still a highly regarded hospital and provides medical care for many people. Dr. McKay's dream still lives on in the hearts of many Taiwanese.